cracking, gang. It's your little homie, Warren G. Body, and you know we up in the rock shop. My normal get down. Wrenching while you sleeping. Yes, sir. All right, gang. We are. Let me give you guys a break from the wiring. I'm going to get back on this, man. Uh, I think my last video, gang, I was uh, talking about I relocated that piece right there and that came out nice i did the whole whole deal i really like how that came out and we are doing the allen tech right now i'm you know heat shrinking it down i'm about to put some other heat protection right here anything that's by the haters is going to get you know heat protection we're going to put the boots on here the whole nine this whole section here is going to be all grouped together inside that heat protection this is good up to two thousand bucks two thousand bucks two thousand <laughs> temp that's what happened when you ain't been asleep yet, gang. I've been up. Oh, my God. All right, so what we into, man? We're going to get a, uh, the Blue Beast a little bit more shine. We are working on the Goose Performance uh, AC Delete Play, gang. So I kind of got ahead of myself and started working on it. So this is kind of like a little preview. This is after I got everything mocked up and put on. So I'm going I'm to fade the video on out and faded into the lead up to where we are right here. So, yeah, uh, this is gonna be nice. This is gonna be real nice. We still got a lot of work to do, gang. We got a lot of work to do. Uh, I've gotta pound this all out right in here, cause this is where my, uh, that's where my uh, sharper image, what do you call it, pass through is gonna go. And later on in this video, you'll see it. But yeah, so we're waiting for the Clecos to come. And if you don't know what those are, gang, Clecos are those little, they look like little bitty needles that are sticking out. And you drill out. See, they already gave me the one eighth inch holes. And so I would drill those out on the actual Elko firewall. And then you take the Cleco, you pull it back, you stick it in, you let go, and it expands and it holds it in place for you. You feel me? So we're going to have to do some massaging and smoothing. What uh, the problem was is that I had to figure out, and you'll see it in the video later on, I had to figure out how to get these two married together because this doesn't attach here like the other drip plates does. These, you know, do. This attaches to the holes where the uh, AC delete or AC box went. Well, the problem is... I've already marked them in there with an ink pen. I had kind of center punched them already. This covers those holes up. So I was trying to figure out how to go about, you know, getting it to line up. And in this video, you'll see how we get it cracking. So I think in that video, I was talking about the drip tray and the original one. Uh, when I was making the other video, I forgot to do the intro. But yeah, gang, so I'm going to fade it on out, fade it on in. And all the links to everything here will be in the description. I always put links in the, you know, the description, whatever it is that I'm working on. Uh, so, you know, you guys can just click on it and go check it out. I put videos in there like uh, Goose Performance. He has a video of him installing this using the Clecos and the whole nine. So real straightforward. You know real simple and the way mine is set up i don't even have to pound out the area because it's flattened up in here already so what i'm going to do it i'm going to pound that area out flatten it out and we're going to use that area for something else but there it is gang so i'm gonna fade it on out and uh fade it on in and i think uh we're gonna be getting on the ss also soon gang real soon i want to start the wiring on this i want to start back in on my frame I got some parts coming and we also man back to the elko we also got the black heart three inch exhaust to complement the black heart one seven eighth inch uh headers <sighs> this thing is gonna sound crazy i can't wait to hear it gang especially once we go pro charge or vortex but there it is i'm gonna fade it on out and we're gonna fade on into that video man let's get it all right gang we got the ac delete plate out is actually an AC, actually AC and firewall, complete firewall plate. So I yanked it out. You can already see I got it clean because we had actually started this whole deal when I yanked out the uh, crate 350. 
And I was just gonna spray it back up and do a couple little, you know, my normal little get down, like how I did over here. And then I stumbled upon, I follow Ghost performance, SS Ghost, I think. And uh, he put that firewall plate out and I said, oh, I gotta have it. <laughs> so I put the order in and he, sh he has a video gang and I'll leave a link to it in the description and be sure to check the description. That's where I put a lot of the links for products I've used throughout the video series. Uh, build links like if you want to see how the malibu started you click on that link it takes you right to the forums before social media we were heavy in the forums you know and each forum would have g body forum would have a specific you know information for that model make year of g body that you had so that's where we hung out and then uh social media took over and it's like you know that's what really pushes the the deal people want to see pics they don't really want to look through and read up on stuff but uh yeah if you're interested in that type of stuff if that's your type of hype you know scroll through my all of my links and everything is shown there pictures of the builds the whole nine where they started from all the way up to where we are now i have a Flickr account and i have links to all of that but yeah gang so we're gonna push forward and uh we snatched the plate out and what i'm about to do now i think how i'm gonna get this cracking gang i just found some bolts that just happened to work and I'm going to get them in there and I'm going to draw a line all the way across where this plate sits. Then put the goose performance plate back on. And hopefully it's not too high where I can still see that line. You feel me? So I think, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll probably put some uh, tape back here so I can uh, like right here and right here. And then I can mark the holes. That's what I'll do. Got the tape right there. All ready to go. Let's give it a shot, gang. Let's get it. All right, gang, I got the uh, drip tray mounted. Luckily, I found a couple of screws to hold it. I got the line drawn across where it's gonna, where the top of it is, you feel me? That way I can sit the plate. I'm gonna remove this. I also got a mark over in the corner. I should have just put some tape on there. And then, um, so it pops out more, you know, old people, we got bad eyes. Uh, I'm gonna remove this now. Put the plate on there and then uh, get the plate put where it needs, where it, I feel it needs to go. There's a notch in that plate. There's a notch in that plate right there. And so that notch, this guy, I'm telling you, man, he built this, <laughs> this plate is badass. It fits right up inside. In this area right here is a little, let me get over there right here. It fits that area right there perfectly. Now, what I'm gonna have to do, like I said, I'll leave the link to his videos. This, I'm gonna have to heat this area up. Uh, so everything everything in my uh, Elko is just mocked up, gang. Nothing is secure. This, I could pull this out. All of this stuff comes out, you feel me? Uh, but you want to make sure everything is out because I'm going to have to heat this up and massage this back to being flat. That's what he wants you to do. So I'm going to have to pound that out until it's nice and flat and then uh, tack it all in. But before we can get to that point, I'm trying to figure out how to get this going because we're mating two different companies together. The plate he makes uh, doesn't work with this. It probably works better with the plate that mounts up here. It ain't the one that I want because this one's got the extra added features that I'm digging, man. So, all right, gang. We're going to get after it and we're going to figure it out. That's the one thing we do up here in the rock shop, gang. We figure shit out. Uh, and soon we're going to be figuring out how to make this shit fast. All right, y'all. Fading it out. All right, gang. We fading it back on in. <laughs> don't, don't talk shit. You got to do what you got to do. Ain't no help at two in the morning. You feel me? So here it is. Uh, there's my line I drew right there. And I, I got one marked. Basically, I took the drip ray, drip ray, <laughs> drip tray. And I, uh, you know what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably just going to cut this tape so I can flatten it out. And then I can get the drip tray. The problem is the is, oh no, no, I can do it like that. Be all right. It'll be all right. There we go. There we go. We all the way up, y'all. Okay, so, see, I got the outline right here of where the drip tray sits, the top of it. 
and this is butted all the way up we good there that's a good spot for it and there it is so i got the first hole mark but what i'm gonna do here gang is i'm going to flatten this out so i can get the drip tray flattened on there and we're gonna uh i think everybody's starting to get up i'm gonna try to get this done today where i get the holes drilled out at least two of them all i really need is this hole and that hole and we're done uh i can get it cracking so okay let's try it let's see what it do all right gang i think i got it marked out perfect i got the edge in there come up boom there go all the holes there we go we're gonna try that set that down and what i'm gonna do is I'm going to make the holes just a little bit bigger, gang, so I have some wiggle room to move this around. You feel me? All right, y'all. Let's get it. All right, gang. We faded back in. Uh, okay, so I center punched it, and I made the hole small to see if I was in the correct area. You feel me? And I did that one over there. And remember, gang, you want to center punch. Use something to center punch it. I just had a little... I don't know where the hell I put it. I had a little screw, a little bolt with a nice point on it. And I just got the circle kind of, I eyeballed it this time. But normally I'll make the circle and then I'll put a crosshairs in it. And right in the center of that pop, that's where I'll hit it. But I, I just used a piece of board to, you know, soften it, have something to go into. Drilled it out and... Hopefully that works out, gang. So I'm going to go ahead on and uh, it looks like that's it. Looks like that might be it. I'm trying to keep the holes as little as possible because that'll help it hang. You feel me? That'll bolt it right on in. Uh, but we're still going to use the Clecos, gang. You know, the Clecos will be perfect. So we're going to drill out right where the Cleco holes go and then stab the Clecos in and then tack it all the way around. You feel me? All of this is new to me, gang. You feel me? This is all new to me. I'm just trying stuff, watching videos. My man Goose Performance, he walks you through the whole thing. But we're doing a little bit of extra, a little extra credit here and trying to make it work with that panel. So I thought of it in my head. I drew it out on a piece of paper and now I'm trying to make it all come to life. All right, y'all, let's get it. All right, gang, we made it work. Uh, these outside holes were perfect. The inside holes looked like they were off a little bit, but that's all good. So now what I'm going to do is, because the drill bit or oh, the, the threads are way behind there, I'm going to, yeah, see that worked, man, that worked out great, gang. This is going to be a cold look. Now, of course, if the motor was out the way, it, it would have been a lot easier. I probably fucked the paint up, but this ain't a show car. But yeah, gang. But you know what I need to get? I need to get some of that wrap from Goose Performance. Aha. Yeah. But there it is. It worked out great, gang. Uh, we're going to, we, now that I know that it's good to go, I can get my Clecos going, get the drill holes for that going. This is going to work out great, gang. This is going to work out great. I'll probably oval out these holes a little bit on the plate so that i got wiggle room the whole thing is having wiggle room you feel me i'm not trying to get it precise precise because we're gonna be working it and body working it and all that type of stuff so shit man that's a cold look gang that is a <laughs> tell you man i see shit in my head and i go let's try it but there it is gang just giving you a preview of what's coming uh, I wasn't going to sleep. This is my Friday. I wasn't going to sleep until we got it cracking in the uh, rock shop. I told you, we clocked out and clocked right back in. So it's uh, the sun's starting to come up, gang. It's probably about 6.30 a.m. And I'm about to lay my tired old ass down. <laughs> I got to get back into work in a little bit and get it cracking there. We're going to do what we do. Put the cape on, fly around the press enterprise, make it happen, Captain. And back to the rock shop we go. It's your little homie up in the rock shop. Repping 80s and most definitely keeping the shipping.